Here's how to deal with measuring a reflex angle. You could have one of these two types of protractor. You could have a circular protractor or you could have a semicircular protractor. Okay, if you have the full circle protractor, this is how you measure the reflex angle. You find the center of the protractor and put it on the center of the angle. You line up one of the sides of the angle with the zero line on the protractor. Um, that's about there, so you've got the center there and you've got the line up with a zero. And then you follow the scale around, 10, 20, 30, blah, 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 all the way around, until you get to the other side of the angle, and that's 240 degrees. So the size of this reflex angle is 240 degrees. Most people, though, have a semicircular protractor, which makes things a, a bit more awkward as it isn't big enough to measure the whole of the, this big reflex angle. But it is big enough to measure the obtuse angle. So just like we did with the circular protractor, you put the centre of the protractor and the centre of the angle, line up one side with the zero line, so the zero appears on the outer scale, so around we go, da 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 da, da. and this obtuse angle is 120 degrees. So we now remember that there are 360 degrees around a point. So to find out the size of this reflex angle, we have to do 360 minus the 120 we've measured and that equals the 240 that we measured with our circular protractor. I hope this helps.